And welcome back to Spectra Absorgens. After Marlin left, he was talking about stuff that we didn't record because both of us didn't realize he was going to say stuff. All he was saying was to get back to the ship, you find this path by this uh, important looking building with a satellite that has no significance whatsoever. It's seri it was seriously just directions, and that's it. Inception Hill. Dwan. Dwan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get to do stuff. Yeah, here we go. I'm on the field. Oh, if I press, uh, I think two. Okay, your your A button attack is spike strike. Now you see those two stars above it. Uh huh. As you reach certain levels, those stars will start to light up, and you'll get more to your to your combo. Cool. Sweet, more stuff to fight. Oh, and as you level up, you'll get all your health and whatnot back. Rollin and Gina have a nunchuck shape dodging move. <laughs> it works about as well as most nunchuck shape dodging moves. <laughs> Meaning, so. not that. No. <laughs> it looks cool, though. So. Um, okay, so I figure this might as well, I mean, we're playing a, we're playing a Wii game, so I figure we might as well bring up the next Nintendo system. The Switch? Yeah, the Nintendo Switch was just announced. Uh, a while ago by the time this gets up, but... Yeah. <laughs> we probably still have some videos recorded that are going to be going up after, after the announcement where Mark will be like... When are they going to talk about the NX? Oh yeah, I bet. I bet there is no. going to be that. That's funny. Um, it could mean... Well, I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised if there were some... Where there were gyro controls, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what else they announce for it. Because right now, we don't know anything about motion controls or touch screen no. or... I, I think the the handles had motion controls on them. Some people said that when they watched the video, it looked like it's a possibility. It wouldn't surprise me if they did. Go. Well, there's definitely no pointer functionality. Although sometimes motion plus can work in place of a pointer. Oh yeah. Skyward Sword taught me that. Yes, Master. Shut up, V. <laughs> That's my Go. Wiimote rumbling. It does that every time you do that. <laughs> yeah. Go. I miss my rumbling nunchuck. Go. Go. <laughs> Go. Pokemon, go. <laughs> go. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, even though he's using a different voice go. for Rollin, when he says go, I think I can hear a little Sasuke in him. <laughs> it, yeah, we found out that Rollin's voice actor was the English Sasuke. Hey, your ship has those lights just like their uh, city does, their their village. Yeah, the, the whole game has those. <laughs> Great. <laughs> they were in the second game, too. Huh. It's about time, Rollin. The lab system is now complete. Great, I hope it works. And here it is, the lab system. We can use this to excavate fossils, awaken spectrums, you name it. All in one, huh? Nice. Hurry up and show me how it works. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> how does it work? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's go over how to excavate! First, select a fossil block to excavate. Now, select Excavate Awaken. Uh, 
Uh, excavate. I want. I want to see how this. Well, it probably works similar to. Hmm. Start. <laughs> it's time to excavate for this part of the game. You'll be playing on the one. Pointing the wheel around at the screen. Let's stand again. Cut the screen. Use the fossil's health gauge. <laughs> Discuss the. Tutorial stuff. <laughs> Great! Using the scanner is key. Let's use the bomb. Alright, change my tool. Somebody has set us up the bomb. <laughs> Now let's go over the laser. I can only use whatever tool they tell me to use, so I can't, like, excavate exactly how I want to. Yeah, I know to be careful. I can't go back to the scanner to see where the thing is. Yeah, that looks like, that just looks like it would be kind of difficult. Now the hammer. Yeah, I select the hammer, I point and click at a location to lock onto it, and then I just waggle away. Whoops. This looks a bit more involved than it did in uh, the other Spectre of games. There's a very good reason for that. It is more involved. Yes. Ow. That's kind of difficult to not hit the fossil. but a goodie. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. We should have been doing that the whole episode, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my gosh, is this more involved than the other games? And now the blower... Well, that blows. Your rank will determine the fossil level, which is the level at which the fossil will, be ex will awaken at. Hmm. The highest your fossil level can be is pretty much determined by Rollins' level, I think. Alright, the fossil should be nice and clean now. Now all you have to do is awaken the sp sleeping spectra up within. Uh, one spectra wake up call coming right up. And this time Mark's ears won't bleed. Oh, thank God. In fact, all I have to do is play a little Wii music. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, look, more lines. Lines, lines everywhere. You don't even have to do it in the same rhythm. Wow, that's a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> Torga. It'll become a fast something if you evolve it. Yeah, the game tells you basically what what the Spectrobe is going to be like when it evolves. I see. 
That means you don't have any spectra oops that go from ranged attackers to melee attackers, or melee attackers to ranged attackers in this game. Huh. Look, Gina, we have a bouncy new child form and a regular bundle of energy. Yeah, I must be really happy to be awakened from that fossil after. Who knows how long? That spectra of awakening here. There, automatically sent. Sure so we can hear automatically sent to the incubator room. And there, you can check a spectro status and change the minute out of your cosmo. Like, pretty neat. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The incubator has been changed to basically be the PC. It's no longer. It's no longer just for raising spectrobes. It's also. It's also where you keep your spares. Huh. And you have, uh, and instead of being able to store two spectrobes in an incubator room, you can store a full team. FULL TEAM! This is also where I can look at their status. I can change their name. Discard the... I, I can just throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> So now that I can do that... Naming time! One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, still the same number of letters. <sighs> we're No, we're not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. That was so funny when that happened. Use this name? Yes. I still don't know what to name you. Viva Pinata? Actually, that wouldn't even fit. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's based on Mayan culture. Mm. Maya Rex. It evolves into a stone dinosaur looking thing. Huh. It's already kind of a stone dinosaur looking thing. Well, I'll figure it out next time. I'll figure it out sometime. See, a master using the lab system. I have a surprise for you another new machine. It's a data machine. What does it do? It's like an encyclopedia for all the stuff you're going across. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not reading all this. Oh, oh, okay, now they're, now they're talking about story stuff. Uh, Rollin was saying, they were saying that they can't use the child form to battle and he needs to evolve it, and they're saying that they're, they, there's a different method of evolving spectrobes in this system because reasons. Huh. Well now, I see you have awakened the spectrobe from its slumber. Well done, my young spectrobe masters. In order to help spectrobes grow, you need to feed them minerals. Minerals come in a variety of colors, and their effectiveness varies by time. There are also special minerals that raise attack defense power. I recommend you try finding them. Got it! What do you know about evolving spectrums, Reese? You know anything about that? Evolution, huh? I know that spectrums have three forms, child, adult, and evolved. Child forms cannot battle, but they can find very... Adult forms are strong in primal crawl, and the final form is a powerful form. The most powerful form is evolved. Amazing creatures, really. But I'm afraid the method of evolving them is... is only known to spectro masters. Perfect. Perhaps you can find a clue, t from a clue inside the former Spectro Master's cave. Cave? What cave? It was home to the Spectro Master who lived here on Watera some 30 years ago. I have no doubt he, knows how to, he knew how to evolve the Spectrobes here on this planet. Look for some clues. Spectro Master's cave, huh? Let's go check it out, Ron. Right behind you, Gina. Very well then. Exit through the main gate and follow the way and, and across the... Sunny More directions. Land. It's like, I don't, 
I don't get it though. Why was the Spectre Master living in a cave? Do you really have to ask? It's me! I'm the Spectre Master! Batman! <laughs> Why are you a Spectre Master? I'm a master of everything! Wait, wait, that wasn't the right response. Why are you. How are you a Spectre Master? Because, because I'm, I'm Batman! Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Continue playing, yes. Oh, I can access the lab menu from any one of these and I can change up my Spectrum party without having to go to my ship. Hey, did you know there's a... Uh... Did you know? No, I'm not doing that. Uh, did you know that there was um, uh, how it should have ended for Suicide Squad? Well, duh. <laughs> but... You haven't seen me yet. <laughs> Bridge woes. <laughs> you don't really want to leave the village, do you? It's crawling with crawl out there, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, but we have to find the Spectro Master's cave. Sorry, but even if it open, you wouldn't get very far. Well, what's that supposed to mean? The crawl destroyed the bridge, so there's no way across the river. We'd like to repair it, but there's just not possible with the crawl amount. Leave it to us. We'll get rid of those pesky crawl for you. You will? Really? In that case, hold on while I get the gate open. Be careful out there, there's a crawl... There's a crawl by the bridge that's bigger than the rest. You should s save before you leave. There's a save point of blah blah blah. 17 minutes. And then there's a cinematic coming up. Okay. Man, that's some loud vibrating. Defeat the crawl at the bridge. Dawn Bridge. Oh, not May Bridge or H Hilda Bridge or <laughs> Misty Bridge. White Bridge. <laughs> Whoa, look at that guy. Bet you anything, that's the one that took out that bridge. Mm, bigger than I would have guessed. Better go slow. Hey, Rollin! What are you. What's the matter with you? What did I just say? <laughs> uh, get, get, get your controller uh, ready. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go! Yeah. Our mission is to take out that big one over there. Yeah, there we go. Take that. Mark, go after the big one. Okay. He'll murderize me. My energy orbs, uh, they restore HP whenever okay. they You can't block or anything. When he winds up to swing, just run away. Okay, got it. If you start running low and... Ow! It's sometimes hard for me to see what I'm doing because the way the camera is. Okay. Ow. Okay, that was... Normally, the way I fight him is, in single player, I just send a spectrobe after him, and then I tell it to retreat when I see him winding up. Okay. But, um, I can't make you teleport next to me like that. Oh, jeez, that's not good. I'm trying... I'll just move an attack. And then... Try changing your character. Okay. Z button and then detail. And then go after him. Okay. I can heal, you can't. Okay, yeah, when you see him about ready to wind up. I kinda just move in, attack, and leave. Yeah. Cause that's how often he attacks, like right after I attack him. <laughs> yeah, leave the small fries to me. You notice Rollins actually useful? Yeah. He's not doing as much as the Spectrodes do, but he doesn't need to. It's like they looked at the way um, Curse of Darkness works and said, let's just do that. Yeah. Hey, no more crawl around. That was a good workout. Let's go to the Gatekeeper and they sh... Want to fix the bridge now? 
20 minutes, so yeah. Go so see the village gatekeeper. We gotta save and quit. And anyways, this game is for the most part why I personally referred to um, Castlevania Curse of Darkness as Spectrovania. <laughs> Especially after I got a battle, a battle innocent devil. If only I could have played as the... Innocent Devils, that's what yeah. they're called. <laughs> oh, she has something to say. Rice balls. Are you making sure to take some rice balls? But don't forget. She's just telling or you Or you might just run out of gas. Okay. And if you ever gobble up all the rice balls you have, just talk to my mom over at the counter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She'll... She'll... You'll get free rice balls if you have none. Too bad you don't have any money to buy more. You have to find all of them. That's weird. This is my favorite Spectrobes game, but it still has its issues. It's like they can't make a perfect one. Yeah. Saving! Okay. I guess we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.